Are you building your social media strategy based on the 1%? Now you need to listen to the end of the show to hear the interview with Tony Reno, who presents this concept really well, but I'll introduce it. His research has found that in the main, 1% of your tribe are going to cause most of the anxiety for you. Now, I'm not dismissing the voice of the public. However, what I am suggesting is that what is the problem with the 1%? Why are they complaining? Are you even listening to what they're saying? What if we understood the 1% more and we actually understood where they were coming from in terms of a complaint, a breakdown in communications, or maybe they want other people to hear them and to start following them. What about the other 99% of your tribe that are engaged, that are perhaps advocating for what you're saying, your policies? How are you serving the 99%? What if the 99% of your following were actually happy, content, even enthused by your social media activity? What if they were encouraging you to give them more? So that's the point. Why do we listen to the 1% and let them direct our strategy when in fact the other 99% may be quite content with what we're giving them? It's very important to differentiate between negativity and trolling on social media. An unhappy citizen who feels unheard definitely needs a response. A troll, an anonymous bot, do not need a response. So if you're not engaged in social listening and you're not looking at the makeup and the source of angst from that 1%, then you are missing a real opportunity for your social media strategy.